Hey everybody. Okay, we're uh, this is where we're at. Uh, I told you right after we got the sleeve hitch fixed. The sleeve hitch works great with all the dimensions. Uh, if you have something other than a a bow lens, you may want to make the plate that pulls back the tractor wider, but everything else works fine. Uh, what happened was I tried to uh, first of all, I ordered this. Well, I had this sleeve hitch. It's a 100, uh, 225 pound lift. It's not quite enough. Here, let me show you the operation. That's it. It's down. did was I ordered this one. It came from China. Weighs about five pounds more than the other one does. This thing is uh, a 1,300 pound lift. If that thing won't lift it, I don't know what it is. Uh, originally, I tried hooking this one down to there and to here and pushing up. It wouldn't lift it off the ground. Uh, I'm going to go back to hooking this one up down there and uh, trying to lift it up with 1,300 pounds. It should tear the back end off of the tractor. Uh, this thing I'll just leave here. I had to put that on and uh, extended that way down there. Well, I would rather have the hitch if it hooked to the hitch itself instead of the implement. Uh, that way I could just leave it hang there when I'm not when it's not in use. Uh, right now I'm going to disconnect things and uh, see where we go from there. Thanks for watching. We'll be back to you shortly. Bye. Hey everybody, we're back again. Uh, we had to make some alterations to this thing. I checked the John Deere out and the back plate on that was uh, it was about 10 gauge, which is close to 8th inch steel. This is 22 gauge because uh, John Deere you pay I don't know, over $3,000 for I paid $800 for this thing, so I guess you, you get what you pay for. Uh, with this linear actuator on there and lifting the box stretch scraper, which is extended way out so you don't have much mechanical advantage, uh, this plate was bending down a quarter inch before it started to pick it up, so I put this bar in here, welded it here, welded it up the top onto the steel plate. I guess you can see it up in there the steel plate that I put on there to reinforce the back end of it. Uh, like I said, if you have a more expensive tractor, like one of the high-end Husqvarna's or a John Deere, you're probably going to have more metal to work with and don't have to go through all this stuff. But we did, so uh, here's where we are right now. I just threw a coat of paint on it. When it dries, we'll get it together and see how it does. Thanks for watching. Be back with you shortly. Bye. Okay, I'm back. There's my trusty helper, Junior, there. Uh, we call him Junior because we got four dogs, and he's the smallest of the bunch. No, he doesn't have fleas. He's been treated. He's got allergies. And uh, there it is. We got it on. You can see it's up off the up in the air, so for the loading, let me get a key and start it up because the battery's a little low in the tractor. And it was in the 30s last night, so.
grade that piece of property we have up there. But I'm going to plant that on here. And I'll probably hook that up so if you pull this pin, this thing rotates that way or this way for grading. Uh, I'll probably hook this on there uh, so I can just sit at the front of the tractor and flip the switch and she'll go from side to side. Okay, I think this is a pretty much all for this video. Uh, if you, if it appears to be a little broken up, uh, just bear with me. Hell, I'm 75 years old and uh, I'm allowed to be a little ditzy. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you again another day. Bye. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, folks. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, some of my likes, I'm not crazy about. But, uh, uh, once they're on the camera, and I go to editing, you get what you get. Uh, if you did like it, uh, I've got over 150 other videos uh, posted. You go down here, at the end, this little blurb on the end of the uh, thumbs up symbol come up. The icon, if you click on that, it'll take you to uh, the rest of my videos. Uh, at the bottom of this video, if you uh, uh, give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Uh, write a comment. If you don't like it, uh, write a comment, then maybe I can change things. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll talk to you another day. Bye.